What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free tool from Trimble that allows you to quickly create renderings from directly inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so this is a post that was brought up on the SketchUp community forum, uh, would have been a few days ago now, um, probably more like a month ago. But basically, Trimble Connect Visualizer is a tool that was originally created to visualize Tekla models and now has a SketchUp extension so that we can open it directly inside of SketchUp. Now, one thing I will note about this, and this is something that you can download from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Um, one thing I will note about this is this is something that uh, is definitely designed more for like the high level and the quick renderings, right? To get some like quick lighting in there, other things like that. Um, it's definitely not gonna be something that's going to replace a twin motion, but if you're looking for something quick, fast, and included with your SketchUp Pro, um, then this is something that might work for you. And so note that there's options in here, both for the, uh, for the PC version as well as the Mac version. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using the PC version, but you just want to download that and install it and make sure that it's enabled. Well, once you've done that, what that's going to do is that's going to give you access to a drop down in your extensions called Tremble Connect Visualizer. When you click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to export your model to Trimble Connect, um, and it's going to pop open a visualizer window that you can use in order to see a rendered version of your model. Okay, and so once that loads in, notice how what that's doing is that's creating a very quick visualization of your model. And as we take a look at this, there's a few things we're going to notice. So one of the things that we're gonna notice is the shadows are simulated in here. And if you like fly inside of your building like that, you are gonna to start to see some shadows on the inside, though we'd probably want to adjust our lighting. Um, it is a probably a better, more rendered view than what you would get in SketchUp, but at the same time, it's not gonna have those PBR materials or anything like that from an actual rendering program. But what this does is this gives us the ability, if we click up here, um, to adjust things like your sun location, right? So you can adjust, um, you can adjust the rotation of the sun, you can adjust the direction in the sky as well as the height of the sun, right? And notice how if you go like straight up and down, it's kind of like uh, the sun if it was right up in the sky at like noon or something like that, or you can use this lower in order to kind of cast those shadows like the sun was lower in the sky. And if you look around right here, you can see that artificial sun up in the sky. Now, this looks like you would have the ability to load in like an HDRI image or something like that. Best as I can tell, I have not found a location where you can actually do that. But mostly you're going to be using um, kind of the left and rights in here like this. Now, one thing I wanna take a look at really quick is so if we fly in our scene, note that this is casting shadows directly inside of our model like this. And I believe, and let's go ahead and split our screen. Oh, that made it better right there. But notice how you can synchronize your views between SketchUp and Trimble Connect Visualizer right here. Now, I don't believe the shadows are linked. So if you make a change to your SketchUp model with your shadows, notice how those are not changing inside of Trimble Connect Visualizer. So the shadows over here are not tied to the shadows over here, but the camera view is, and that could be especially valuable if you need to change your field of view, right? So notice how if I set this to like 65 over here, your field of view is going to change directly inside of Trimble Connect Visualizer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop this right here. I'm gonna fly into this scene. And what I really wanna do, and this is a little bit different in the sense that the, uh, the navigation is different than SketchUp's navigation. So if you click and hold the right mouse button, you look around. Um, if you click and hold the middle mouse button, it pans and the left mouse button orbits. And then you move around using your keyboard. So it takes a little bit of getting used to in order to do this. But say that we've got a scene like this, notice how if we adjust our sun, the shadows inside of the scene are going to adjust as well, just like this. So in addition to having the ability to adjust shadows, there's other things that you can adjust too, like um, like visual adjustments that have to do with the way that the different aspects of your lighting are gonna work. So notice how if I adjust the sun brightness, it's going to affect how strong those shadow effects are inside of my scene like this, so you can adjust the shadow strength. Notice how that's really adjusting the contrast on the inside as well as the sharpness, which is going to be like how harsh the edges of your shadows is going to be, right? 
So if I drag that sharpness to the right, notice what it's doing is giving me more of these like soft shadows. So you can also adjust things like your ambient occlusion, which is going to give you um, darker darks in these, uh, these crevices right here. So you've got a fair amount of control over here on what you can do with the actual like lighting of the scene. You can also adjust your exposure up and down. You can adjust the contrast of your scene, the color saturation. So for creating quick renderings like that, this actually does a pretty good job. So you can also set depth of field in here. So if you wanted only a portion of this to be in focus, you can use the slider in order to set this so only a portion of this is in focus. So, um, and you would have to play around with that a little bit in order to really kind of try to get the results that you're looking for. So you've got all those settings you can adjust. You've also got tools over here where you can actually take an image. So what I'm gonna do right here, for example, is I'm gonna set this up like this, and then I'm gonna click on this button right here. And when I click on this button right here, that's going to take a screenshot and it's going to save it on your computer. And if you wanna open up the folder that contains those screenshots, you can click on the button right here like this in order to see that screenshots folder. So here's that screenshot we just took. Um, from a visualization standpoint, it's actually not bad considering the amount of control we have over this. So it is better than an image that's just taken out of the SketchUp model. Obviously I have done nothing in here to replace the materials or anything like that with higher resolution materials. So um, it kind of is what it is with the 3D warehouse model that I've downloaded, but it's gonna save all of these to the same folder right here. Now, um, one thing to note about this is if you do want to save different viewpoints, you can do that by clicking on the little photo right here and then clicking on the plus button. And so not only is that going to allow you to save different viewports, which it is. And I'm not sure, by the way, if there is a way to adjust how quickly um, things move around in this scene or not, your camera speed. Um, so if there's not, it would be kind of nice to have one because this has a tendency to like jump around when you're on interiors. But notice how this is going to work somewhat similar to SketchUp in the sense that if you click on this play button right here, this is actually going to animate between your different scenes like this. And so notice how right here, you've got like 20 seconds um, of transition time in here. If you want those to be faster, you could just come in here and adjust this, and then your camera is gonna move more quickly, right? So you can see how that camera movement is going to translate and change based on the uh, duration between the different keyframes that you set right here. And so one thing I don't know, and first off, I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to update my scenes. Like generally what I would expect is I should be able to make a change like this one and then click on the refresh button and it would update my scene. But notice how it's not actually doing that. I'm not really sure why. There's not a ton of documentation out there that I'm seeing. So I'm a little bit confused on that one. So I'm not really 100% sure if we can animate between different times of day or other things like that. Um, let's say that we were to get rid of these and just create a new scene with a new sunlight, maybe something like this. And then add a new scene. Yeah, so it will animate the transition between different times of day. I'm just not 100% sure how to actually update um, the scenes once you've created them. It seems like this button should do that, but maybe it doesn't. I'm not really 100% sure what these two buttons do, um, but you can use these in order to quickly um, generate these animations. So I am also not 100% sure if there's any way to actually export these animations out of this tool. Like I said, it, it's a little bit short on documentation. There's not a lot out there right now. So maybe we'll see more in the future. Okay, so two other things. The, the first is the materials set up in here that allow you to set things like glossiness and um, the metallicness and bump is not currently set up to work with SketchUp. So this is something that hasn't been set up to work with a SketchUp model yet. So you can't come in here and edit the materials and get some of those better results that you might get from other rendering softwares at the moment. I'm hopeful this is something they are going to add in the future. Um, but as of right now, you're just kind of limited to your SketchUp materials. So you're just going to want to pay extra amounts of attention to those when you're setting them up in SketchUp. The other thing is I believe this is a button for exporting to a VR headset. It 
doesn't do anything on my computer um, and I don't have a VR headset set up so it really shouldn't do anything but I thought that this is something that could actually do that but again I'm not seeing a whole lot of documentation right now so Overall, Trimble Connect Visualizer, at least in my opinion, is something that uh, um, is good for quick visualizations, right? So if you wanted to bring this in and actually have the sun in the background, have some shadows, other things like that, this is a decent tool in order to create those quick visualizations. Plus it's free. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of processing power or anything like that. On the other hand, there are a bunch of features like the materials um, and the documentation just don't quite seem to be there yet. So it's a little bit of kind of a choose your own adventure situation right now um, until some of that gets a little further out there. All right. So that's where I'm in this video. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this tool? Could you see yourself using it for quick renderings or would you jump straight to something like a twin motion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.